What's up guys, Paul from Golf Authority. Today we're at the beautiful Portobello Golf Course in Sun City, Arizona, learning how to hit some chip shots with Mr. Wolfman. Coach, coach Wolf here, helping right. out Paul. He's actually my coach and my son's coach, and uh, one of the best coaches I know, and we're here to get me better. Start feet together, club, square and lofted. You're gonna de-loft the club slightly, still being square to the target, then you're gonna go stand over by the handle. This needs to be in the middle, and then that fixes ball position. And once you make your motion, you maintain that shaft angle. So it's gonna go. All right. Okay, the routine so is the most important piece. Square and lofted at the landing spot, slight de-loft, and go stand to the handle. Standing to the handle will get you your ball position. If you de-loft it eight degrees, 10 degrees, it's too much. It's just a slight de-loft. If you want, it's just a, literally you're pushing yeah. the club forward about an inch or inch and a half or two. And then you go stand by the handle. Standing by the handle is something you're gonna hear me say a bunch. Okay, so you're gonna ask yourself, why'd that ball go left? Because I wasn't, that's where I was aiming. But that's where the club face was aiming. Yeah. So when you de-loft it, you have to be very careful. De-loft is this way, not this way. You don't want to shut it and close it. When you're de-lofting the club, it's just slightly there. It still stays square. So be careful of shutting it. Oh, because it turned to the left. The club face the, the club face was aiming over there. So that's what caused it to go left. Yep, square and lofted. And so you'll, I'll give you a little visual here. There. And then if you de-loft it, it's just going to go to there. You don't want to do any of that. All right? So it still needs to stay square, even though you're de-lofting it a little bit. Routine is where it's at. So square and lofted at your target. Square, lofted. Slight de loft. And go stand over by the handle. There you go. And that gives you good ball position. Then maintain the shaft angle. Boom. As you're setting up, everything is square. This is pointing in the middle. Your feet are right there. Everything's nice and square. And we're going to de loft the club slightly and then go stand over here by the handle. Let the handle go right into the middle. And then as we're making the motion, we're just maintaining the shaft angle. Maintaining the shaft angle. We want it to fly low. We do not want to lose the shaft angle in a short chip. Okay? Okay, do something with that. <laughs> Too much. Any shot in golf, we need to stay in posture. So when you're finishing, yeah. it should look like this. And if you want to see your golf ball early, your head needs to be on a swivel. You can't do this to see your golf shots. So everything's looking good. Pre-swing, great. Square and lofted at the target. De-lofting slightly, stand next to the handle. Maintain the shaft angle, but make sure you stay in posture while you make your motion. You see how much straighter they fly. Even get a little more spin because you're striking the ball better. Perfect. Little de-loft, perfect. And as you're making this motion, all your weight's gonna stay on that left side. And you can see how they're going a lot straighter because he's staying in posture. And because the club face is aiming down our target line. It's not going left. Oh, it's, look at that, I came out of posture, look. Looks like on that one, you just kind of went through it a little quick. Once you get all those pieces, don't let, don't let all those little check marks cause any tension kind of settle in and go and then make your motion there you go have some touch all right now we really lost our angle on that one that's a good one for us to point out as he as he made his motion there this is what the shaft angle looks like at the end all right and so we cannot have that when we're chipping for multiple reasons ball is going to create the, the club face is going to create spin forward spin never going to slow down never going to stop so as we're making that motion it's critical watch where my club finishes still down my line square almost so that's going to cause great contact and the ball is going to bounce softly on the greens you're gonna get a lot of benefits out of that 
Club face turns over like that, the ball's gonna jump forward, no spin, hard to control distance. Excellent. Make that good motion with maintaining our shaft angle. You can see he's maintaining his shaft angle a little bit better, so he's getting a lot softer bounces. You ever wonder why your ball is bouncing and jumping forward? Check your club face, see if it's shut. See if you're maintaining your shaft angle. Good job, Paul's getting really good at that routine. The routine will create consistency. Ooh, almost got a flag on that one. Oh, is that a good bad shot or what? It's perfect. No, it was a good bench. And this is gonna be great behind <laughs> the scenes. <laughs>